Good morning and welcome to Refresh. We've got the best videos from around the internet just for you. Let's start. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Refresh. I'm your host, Mike Janella, and we have seven of the best videos from around the internet to put a smile on your face on this Sunday. With me, producer Erica. You can't see her yet, but you can hear her. Hello, Erica. Hello. Happy Sunday, Mike, and also happy birthday. It is. It's my birthday. Thank you guys all for sharing it with me. Yes. So I'm excited. I hope everybody in the comments tells you happy birthday, feliz cumpleaños, or however ah, you say it in any other language. Muchas gracias, yeah. Um, thank you guys uh, for spending your Sunday and my birthday uh, with us. We got a lot jam-packed show coming up, including later, because it also is 4th of July weekend for a lot of people already. Erica is going to try and give me a heart attack on my birthday <laughs> by making me eat as many hot dogs as I can. Yes. They're being grilled right now as we speak. I can smell them here in the studio in three minutes at the end of the show. So stick around for that. Start giving your, placing your bets and taking guesses how many you think I can eat. Erica, what do you think? Just a quick number. In three minutes, uh, yeah. maybe ten. All right. That'll be, the, that'll be the goal. So we'll see. Stick around for that. But first, we've got a ton of great videos for you, including our number seven video. It's my birthday. I love surprises on my birthday. So no better way to start our countdown than with an amazing surprise. Let's take a look. I'll explain here in just a second. It's from everyone. Oh. Over over 500 people for you. Oh my god. <laughs> now that is Jake Gordon. We just gave a hug to uh, her name's Awa. She's going around giving hugs now. She is a cafeteria worker at Muhlenberg College, Pennsylvania. And she helped Jake out when he was a freshman. He was feeling sick. She wrote him a card, uh, made him just feel better. <laughs> And she became such a good friend to so many kids that when Jake found out, she goes back every winter break, pays out of her own pocket to go visit her family in Senegal. Jake raised money on a GoFundMe secretly to buy a plane ticket to Senegal for Awa to go see her family. And she's so beloved that they raised a thousand dollars in two hours and ten grand in six days, and now have given it to Awa as a special present. Man, it's got to be nice to know you've made that kind of impact, that people will do that for you. It's an amazing story. Yeah. <laughs> Alumni, too. People who don't go here anymore. Look, who remember you. Um, a lot of people it's not even all of, really of nice it. <laughs> so, Sorry. It's okay. These, these are all the comments. There's actually a lot more. From, um, <laughs> so you can read them and show them to, to your family. Okay. Who, these are all people who had things to say. I mean, it's like a book. It's great. Like people who, everyone loves you, so... It's a great story. We do got a shout out uh, the help from Alpha Tau Omega was the frat that Jake was in, the fraternity that helped him raise all that money. Ten grand in six days. Man, Awa must be serving seconds in the in the cafeteria there. <laughs> she's she's really doing a great job with those students. Incredible, incredible stuff. That was really nice. Uh, you're nice. getting a lot of happy birthdays in the comments. Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, Adrian saying happy birthday, Mike. Uh, Jennifer, Johannes, Danny saying it. We even have a few people guessing on how many hot dogs you can eat. Most people are saying ten as well. Ten is kind of the benchmark. And, okay. Uh, I mean, gonna eat twenty. Someone actually wrote happy birthday in Dutch. Oh. And I'm trying to find it so that we could. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> I, lo I love the Dutch people. I've been to yes. Holland uh, two or three times. I have a great time whenever I'm back. So thank you very much uh, to, to all the, the viewers all around the world that are tuning in for us today. Yes. Let's keep the countdown moving, though. Our time for our number six video. What would you do if you found a wallet in the street with almost 500 bucks in it? This amazing story is that of one of what a homeless man did. Let's check it out. Sometimes goodwill still prevails, even under the most unlikely circumstances. A homeless man in Kingston, New York, is being referred to as a hero after he turned in a wallet that contained almost $500 inside. 50-year-old Hassel Barber is frequently seen scouring the streets for bottles and cans as a quick way to make some cash. He commonly sleeps on city stoops and stairways. Barber lives a tough life, but when he found a wallet on the sidewalk, he picked it up and immediately handed it over to police. He stated, I looked at the wallet and I seen money. I didn't bother to count it. It wasn't mine. I didn't want it. Wow. Officers were able to track down the owner of the wallet whose identification cards were still inside. 
The police department shared the story via its Facebook page to point out that human character can't be judged by circumstance or appearance. Local residents began calling in, offering to give Barber money and food, but he declined. What an incredible story there. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people commenting that they would do the same thing, yeah. hand it in, if the ID card was there, find who it was. But think of that man's circumstances, homeless guy, down on his luck, struggling, and you see 500 bucks, 485 specifically, just fall into your lap like that to give that in. That's some amazing honesty and integrity. We've got to give Hassel Barber uh, a round of applause yes. from us here because that's uh, an incredible... Uh, selfless act by him. Very cool stuff. All right, guys, we got a lot more videos to come, including at the very end of the show, that hot dog eating contest. They're being grilled as we speak. How many can I eat? We're going to find out. But first, we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, even more videos, so don't go far. Welcome back to Refresh, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm Mike Janella. I'm your host. Producer Erica is here with me, and we have seven of the best videos from around the web to share with you today. We're in the middle of our countdown, so let's get right back to it. Time for our number five video. I'm not going to uh, set it up because I'll explain afterward. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but let's just say there's a, a special delivery in this video, and I'm not just talking about the pizza. Take a look. The woman there is her name is Joni. She's the mom of Noel, and it's Noel and Chris Barrick uh, were the couple there, and they were pregnant. They decided to they taped the the sonogram, the photo, on the top of the pizza box, so that when mom opened it, and Chris told his mother-in-law, "Hey, we got a special topping on one of the pizzas. See if you like it." And she opened it, and as you can tell, she loved it. Because what better you know news to get? I mean, I would have loved seeing pepperoni as well, but seeing a sonogram is really cool also. I mean, that, that was a really, really funny video. Now, Eric, I got to ask you a question. You yeah. guys in the comments, too. We see a lot of those kind of videos here, right? Gender reveals, pregnancy reveals. Do you like it more when it's like that, where you just tell them as a surprise, or when you make them guess and play a game? Because those can go wrong very quickly. So do you have a preference? Uh, you know, I didn't play a game with, with my family. Oh, what yeah, I, how did you announce yours? What I did was, when I found out, I actually took a picture of the pregnancy test and sent it to my mother. Because I just, I don't, well, I'm the only, well, now I'm having a child, but out of the three children, I'm the last to have a, have a kid. Gotcha. So, the, and I'm always joking around about something. Never about pregnancy, but I knew she would think uh, I was so joking. So you didn't want to, like, do a prank. She you still to, thought I was she joking. Thought <laughs> she thought I photoshopped it. And I was just like, uh, no. So then I had to call her and then, uh... The, the next week we went to the doctor and we FaceTimed and showed her the sonogram and had a video. So it was really nice. We did it that way. That's how I would prefer. But um, that's great. So I'm right not to against the point. what anybody else is doing. Like if they do, a, if they have, if they play a game or yeah, something like that. That video we just saw was awesome. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people in the comments throwing numbers out, and I can't tell if they're trying to guess how old I am or yes, how many hot dogs are. I'm going to eat. Both. I'm seeing like 11, 40, 25, 33. Uh, it's a lot. So we'll keep you in suspense for both. But yeah, we got our hot dog eating contest coming up later. Can't think of a better way to celebrate my birthday than shoving a lot of processed meats uh, <laughs> down my throat. They're all beef, though. I promise. Oh, oh awesome. So. Erica takes care of me. Yes. See, that's why we keep her around. Uh, time for our number four video. Yesterday in the show, we saw a woman who was deep diving to get face to face with tiger sharks and touching them and making contact. Today, we have an animal uh, less dangerous, but no less impressive. Let's take a look. Manta rays which are massive, but beautiful. Look at them. This is Allison Teal, and I was reading a magazine article about her, and they call her the female Indiana Jones. This is what she does. She just travels the world and explores, and does philanthropy and charity, but she does stuff like this, diving 50 feet to hang out with these manta rays face to face. Beautiful. Manta rays, Erica, 23 feet wide. That's how much they go from tip to tip on their, their wings. I don't know what those are called. Their fins, I guess. I've Massive been around animals. them What's in the that? Bahamas. Oh, you have? Yeah, they swim right up to you. Oh, but they, 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 they eat plankton and stuff, so they're not a threat to humans, right? They're just... I mean, Massive. they seemed fine. I think they were so used to people just being yeah. in the water, so they kind of just swim by you or with you, kind of. Beautiful creatures. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't nervous, but, you know, 
it's still their environment, so you have to right. respect it. You're the guest in yes. their house. Maybe one of these days I'll put it on my next vacation or something, because that sounds like fun. And it looks like fun, too, from that video from Allison. Time now for our number three video as we keep the countdown moving. Now, we do a lot of pregnancy talk. We just saw a video a couple of slots ago in the countdown about a couple revealing their pregnancy to their family. This woman and her husband, uh, unfortunately, had problems conceiving, and so they tried to do in vitro fertilization, but had another problem as well, which motivated the woman you're about to meet to take some drastic lifestyle change measures. Let's take a look. This is Tasha Frampton, who, as you can read, had to lose 126 pounds before she was eligible for in vitro. And there you see her partner, Rob. They're a couple from England. Trying six years to conceive before deciding to go for in vitro. At the time, though, Tasha, as you can see, weighed 266 pounds. And doctors said, that's just too much. In vitro will not work. And look at her now, 126 pounds less later, she's down to 140. We're able to get an in vitro recommendation, or a referral I should say, for free. And there is the amazing final result, baby Arabelle. After six years of trying and all the time it took to lose the weight, Tasha finally has her bundle of joy. And she says, as you can read there, she was addicted to fast food, even McDonald's, they'd get it most nights for dinner. But you get a choice, stay fat or be a mom, and she was determined to achieve her dream of being a mom. So good on you, Tasha. Beautiful family. Great seeing that, because you know so many people do want to have a child, and that is a lifetime goal or dream of theirs, but if you, something stands in your way and you can do something about it like Tasha did, even better, because now baby Arabelle will be a sign for the rest of their lives of the hard work and the love exactly. that went into making that family. Uh, we have Kathy in the comments saying, how did she lose the weight? Well, she changed her diet. Yeah, when you eat McDonald's most nights for dinner, just getting rid of that and having even, I don't know, just chicken and rice will do a wonders uh, for someone like that. But I'm sure she also did some exercising as well, which you don't need to do much. Just change your lifestyle and you can see some drastic changes like that, which Tasha incredibly did. So very happy, very happy for her. All right, guys, we have the rest of our countdown to go. We also have that hot dog eating contest coming up later to celebrate my birthday slash the 4th of July coming up here in the States. But first, our number two video takes us way up high for a mid-air surprise that's going to put this couple on cloud nine. Take a look. We also have a very special passenger on board today, folks. Her name is Anna. She's traveling back to South America now to visit her family. And I want to make sure she comes back to me in Australia. So now that I have her complete attention, Anna. Quienes casate conmigo? Will you marry me? Captain Julie Ellis on Quantum Air, flying from Australia to South America. Popping the question, 35,000 feet in the air, so it's now fiance. Congratulations, guys. Okay. Man, that is great stuff. Congratulations to them, and may they uh, never come down from that uh, figurative high, even if they do so eventually, literally. Uh, Justin Ord uh, commenting, today's Larry David's birthday, too. Yeah, we've got some cool birthdays. Dave Thomas, the founder of, of Wendy's, uh, a bunch of other people have shared birthdays today. So I'm very happy to be this July 2nd birthday, but more happy than anything to have you guys sharing it here with me today. When we come back, we're going to have that hot dog eating contest. I've been half excited for it, half dreading it uh, all morning long. You're going to finally see it. But we also have to finish our countdown, and we'll do that after this. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Refresh. Happy Sunday morning. If you've already started your July 4th uh, long weekend here in the U.S., happy July 4th as well. July 4th. It's famous, the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest, right? You see it on TV, people eating as many hot dogs as they can in, I think, 12 minutes. Well, there's contests all around the country, too. We're about to have one here, but we also need a little bit of inspiration. And for that, we're going to check out a contest at a local school, see how the teachers did in this number one video. Take a look.
Well, here we are. <laughs> Erica, she's here now in front of camera. Say hi to Erica, everyone. Uh, I, I, what a beautiful day out today here in, oh my gosh. Here in New you know, York. What a I lovely day. I was hoping day. for less clouds, but the grass is so green behind us. And I mean, the sun is partially out, but I heard it's the day vibrant. is really going to like It's luscious. Clear up. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like a few clouds because when yeah. it's too blue, it gets boring. Clouds, you can see the shapes mm, and, and all kind true. of stuff. That's true. Do you ever yeah, like lay like in the it. grass and you just stare at... At the clouds? Not all the like, time, but uh, yeah, all the time. I do Mike, it all the time. Mike, after this, because you may or may not have a stomach After this, ache. I'll be laying on my stomach, uh, <laughs> staring at the ground, wondering where <laughs> things all went wrong. So these are all the hot dogs, and this is just the top layer. So there's all of these, but then there's also the same hot number right underneath. below them. So you have 30 total. Oh, there's 30 in there's here. There's 30 hot dogs Ugh. in here, guys. And, uh, okay, so... Unbutton before we even get this now, started, I, worn I do have today. two bottles of water here for you, just in case if okay. you need them. Uh, we do have napkins for you, so, you know... And Who needs napkins? I like these, hopefully though. Hopefully it doesn't get to this point, but I do have a garbage pail underneath the table for you. <laughs> okay, I don't think uh, we'll get I think there, it'll be fine. However, I'm going to give you a three-minute mark, and I'll set it up on my phone, so okay. I'll tell you when to go, and we'll see how many you can eat. And if you can't finish the 30 in three minutes, your, your face gets put right into this pie. Oh, I thought that was like dessert to share. That's, my, that's what I get if I lose? That's what you get if you lose, and if you win, you get what's in this bag. Ooh, a mystery bag. But I might still give it to you since it's your birthday, even... Right, yeah, if let's not lose. forget that. All right, uh, can I ask a question? Sure, you can ask anything. Because I love my hot dogs with uh, ketchup on them. We have ketchup so and mustard. So can I put that on before we yes, start? Yes, you can, okay, please. Good. I, I want you to, sure to, to be happy. I'm going to open up a few minutes. napkins for you. That, yeah, I'm going to so, need a few. Uh, while I'm ketchuping up my dogs, uh, let us know in the comments. Yes. We've been getting some, some guesses. How many of you guys think I can actually eat? There are 30 here, and I have three minutes to eat as many as possible. Well, we have a few people saying hi to me. Hello, everyone. Ho hopefully everyone's having a happy Sunday, and thank you for tuning in today. Yes. Uh, Melissa says, I say 13 hot dogs. Sandy says 9. We have 4 hot dogs. Loretta says 7. Kathy says 10. <laughs> John says, I, I think he meant 10 to 12, but then he put 10 dash 122. Uh, <laughs> so I think he meant 10 to 12. Yeah, 122 Maribel says I think 5. Gonna you got a lot oh. of 5 hot dogs here. Um, but people are going with the 10, mo mostly. Okay, 10 sounds good. And I said 10 as well. I'm going to do a little bit of, a couple of mustards as well, just oh so I can God. have a, a variety. Because if I get sick of ketchup after like two minutes, I'm going to want something a little bit different. Uh, what do you got here? Four and uh, three makes seven. All right, so I, I've, I've condimented up 11, because I think that's what I'm shooting for. I just want, I want 10 at least. And I just, okay, hold on. Before we even go further, we have a lot of people in the comments who always ask every week when, when Mike and I get on, if we're married. No, we are not uh married. We're That's just, news to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 we're just really great friends, and we work really well together, and I love torturing him. We're like, but I guess uh, you torture your spouse too, right? Uh, I, maybe in your marriage. I <laughs> no. don't know. Uh, yeah, we're like, uh, we're like Pat Sajak and Vanna White. Yes. I thought they were married forever when I was a kid. I did and then too. I found out that they weren't. And, and it, it kind of like, heart. it shattered my whole world. But, you know, we're not Erica trying to shatter just, anyone's world out there. We're yeah. just trying to make you guys happy. So right. about to let me get my, my stomach. Uh, we're about to shatter. Let me get my. Uh, All right, guys, about to do it. Are you ready with the countdown here? One second. I'm half excited and half super nervous. Good luck. Okay, oh, let me move away from you. So you guys ready out there? And while I'm doing this, make sure in the comments, give me motivation. Uh, yell at your screen. You know, go, Mike, go. You can do it. Erica, if you'd like yes. to as well, because I'm going to need, I'm gonna need a, a lot of help here. Okay. So and I also want to note that if you watch the professionals, they eat it a very special way. They have the glass of water. Yes, but And they you, take the hot dog out. You said no. Yeah, they take the hot dog out, and they dunk the bread in the water and eat it separately. I feel like I would, that would make you throw up. Are I know it's sure? faster. We have cups and we have water Yeah, here. I know, but I feel like that, I know it's faster and maybe better, but I know that that, that would be disgusting for me, personally. Okay, and I be able to so, do, you, so. You, you go at your pace, but on the count of three, I'm going to hit this hit this timer. All right. Three minutes. All right, let's do it. One. Yep, you tell me when. Two, three, go. I'm already harder than I thought. This is music. That's my hot dog eating music. I don't know what you guys got out there. You let me know. Uh, you know, hello, if you want to win this, you're kind of going slow. I feel like you're enjoying it. It's so hard to chew. Mm. Mike? Oh my gosh, guys out there, they're saying, go, Mike, go. It's your birthday. Eat the hot dogs. Come on. Mike, uh, you know the high I'm, yes, I do. Actually, I am uh, CPR and first aid trained, so okay, I'm certified. What if I eat the hot dogs now with the bread afterwards? Can I do that? Listen, you do whatever makes you happy. Let's go. I'm Come on. I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm not being nice just because it's your birthday, so I'm not giving you any extra time. And neither is the audience. No, oh, man. This is a lot harder than I thought, guys. I want to do. You're already about to. You're at 57 seconds. Come on. No, oh, man. Guys, this is scaring me. I don't want that pie in my face. Let's go. 
You send me music? No. Or, uh, or just me bringing Go, Mike, go. Go, Mike, go. Go, Mike, go. Mike, I just, I don't know about you right now. Come on. You're in oh a minute God. and 19. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Drink your water. Can I call time out? Two, no, you no, got two no, down. No, no, no. Oh, man. They don't call time out in a competition. Oh, you're so, This is so bad. <laughs> I'm sweating all this meat. <laughs> Come on, Mike. You can do it. Who said I was gonna eat like 30 in the comments? They were way off. You're at 144. Mike, what? hurry. What? This is your third one. Come on. Oh my God. I'm trying. I'm trying. Mm. I said 10, but. Oh, it's mustard now. Mix it up. <laughs> oh man. There's so much bread inside of me right now. <laughs> should I give him some more music, guys, or should I actually give him another minute? No, I want a minute. All right. Well, you're almost there at, at your three-minute mark. How much time? You have uh, literally about 50 seconds. 50 seconds, all right. Mm. Come on, Mike. You can do this. I really had more more faith in you than I guess I should have given you. Ooh, I don't know what to say. I'm guys. sorry. I'm letting you down. Mm. This is really bad. 30 seconds left. Come on. You, why are you going so slow? <laughs> Instead of us eating the pie, now your face is going to be uh, smashed into the pie. Come on. Mm. It is a pretty. It is very pretty pie. Come on, Mike. Uh, Go. Man. Go, eat, come on, you have 13 seconds. Uh, Get that one down, come on. I'm like embarrassed in my mouth right now. Mm. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Oh, You're I'm done. done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Mike, mm. I really thought you were at least going to get to 10 hot dogs. I'm not even kidding. I really, truly thought you were going to get to the 10. I'll speak when I swallow. So did I. I thought it was going to be really easy. I think that was like four. Um, uh, sort of. One, two, three, four, four. Four and a half. Uh, four and a half, and I didn't eat the bread out of one. I went for just the hot dog on one of them. Mike, if you finish this one right now, I'll make sure you not only get pie in the face, but you get your gift as well. Uh, no time limit? I can just take my time on this one? No, no, no. You gotta finish it right now. Oh, Come on. Oh, oh. the whole thing. <laughs> well, guys, so I'm sure everyone, you got a few people saying we'd like to see Mike's pie. Um, uh, Mike's, not Mike's pie, but the, your yeah, face yeah. in the pie. I need a drink first. Uh, well, you got two bottles of water. All right, give me time. I need a breather. Like, I'm like, like you're over. sweating. I'm hot. He's sweating profusely, it's but I'm glad dogs. we didn't have to use this garbage pail that's underneath. But you know what? Well, no, there's, there'll be hot dogs at least for the crew. But um, I'm going to move this You're welcome, this over. guys. I did this all for you, everyone here that helps make the show go. I, I could have eaten them all. Mike, you love it. But I wanted to make sure you guys had You had love the attention. I got, like, all my, like, spitting stuff is out everywhere. Well, I'm a man of my word. One, two, three. Oh. Well, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Mike. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Every Oh, sending hearts for the smash. Yes. Thanks, guys. Love it. Oh, it tastes good. Yeah, I made sure it was it was pretty good. Mm, all right. And now you can open your gift. Oh, now all can right. you see it? Uh, yeah, I can. Good choice because it's not like burning my eyes or anything. So. <laughs> well, you have you have napkins. Oh, here. I'm ready. I'm ready to like go mine. <laughs> Pull the camera closer. Um, oh man. Because it is your birthday, so I didn't want to fully torture you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I know how much you uh, Aww, love to wear makeup. New so. makeup. What what a doll, Erica. Thank you so much. So you have a new makeup palette. Okay. She sees me every day before I come in here. You have a highlighter, a I contour, make this look good. and a bronze. And the makeup I wore today is now completely covered. So, so now, can, now I have now to have some do new your, stuff. You can do your makeup over. Actually, now I think the makeup I was wearing is bleeding from the pie into my eyes. So now it's starting to burn a little bit. Somebody said he's got a heart on his forehead. <laughs> do I? Oh yeah, I guess I do. Look at that, huh? It's how much I love you guys for hanging out with Wait, us Wait, a lot of people saying nice, and uh, Loretta said, yes, slam the pie in his face, LOL. Loretta, what did I ever do to you? Amy says, how beautiful. You're getting lots of hearts and, like, thumbs up because you're a good sport about it. And Loretta said, yeehaw. Man. I like that yeehaw. I like it, too. All right, guys, well, you're hopefully good. your 4th of July goes better than mine is off to so far. I have indigestion, acid reflux, <laughs> and a pie in my face, so this is really fun. Uh, Erica, do I have to clean up too? Because this vacuum, no, this carpet you, needs to vacuum. I won't make you clean up. I right, promise. Cool. I'll be nice um, today. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it, Erica. I'm gonna get out of here before you torture me you look anymore. Great. Do I look great? You Maybe do. You're go, beautiful. Maybe I can go into the circus, into the clown circus uh, school, whatever. <laughs> I can't even talk because I have hot dog brain. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Fourth yes. of July weekend, or if you're elsewhere around the world, thanks for tuning in as well. And uh, we'll see what Erica has in store for me next week. I don't think you can get any. I'm sure it'll be something any, good. Any worse for me than this? But thank you so much. The happy birthday. Thank you, you guys for watching. Thank you for the happy birthday. We'll Bye. see you guys next time. Ciao for now.